This is the epitome of real life, people. I am sitting on the floor in our bedroom, surrounded by boxes, um, but I just couldn't wait to film this video, so that's what I'm doing. And the lighting in here is all almost natural, which is kind of cool. I have these two windows, and they form like the perfect thing on my face in the afternoon. So that's nice. Maybe I'll film more of my videos here. <laughs> like I said in my last video, uh, my husband and I just moved, which is really exciting. We just moved homes. We still live in Colorado. So my location of choice to film is right here where I am sat. Today I will be using the products from my new August Ipsy Glam Bag. If you haven't seen my a unboxing Ipsy Glam Bag opening video, uh, go check that out and I kind of walk through the products more in detail. Uh, in this one I just kind of use them. I don't necessarily talk about them, so if you want to know about the products that I use in this video, go check out that video. Got it. So I'm trying out the products from my Ipsy Glam Bag, and uh, I'm really pleased with how this looks. We kind of got creative and versatile with the intentions of the product, and I hope you enjoy it. Please keep watching if you want to see how to make your face look like mine. That's not true. Just keep watching and you can hang out with me. Okay, so first I'm going to start out with my concealer, uh, like I normally do. And also the mirror I'm using is cracked, so I'm like tripping out a little bit. Um, I'm going to start with Shape Tape Concealer, because I don't want to go heavy on this look. Um, I'm not doing like full-fledged yet. It's not, I'm not in that season yet. Literal season of like it's still hot out. <coughs> Did you hear that wheeze? I don't know if you can hear that. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know what's wrong with me today. What's happening? So we have like 16 projects happening at once in this home, uh, which I think is really fun because we're like getting stuff done. Um, but it just kind of means that we're like kind of all over the place. So right now, my bathroom smells like paint thinner. So this is Shape Tape's concealer. Tarte Shape Tape Contour Concealer. And this is in the color Light Natural. And even this is like a little bit pink for my skin. But this is like the yellow of those ones. So my light shade is Fair Neutral. Oh. I misspoke. Uh, fair Neutral is my light shade, and Light Neutral is my, like, summer tanned shade, which is funny. And I'm also going to take this onto my eyelids, because you can use this as an eyelid primer. Um, and since I'm actually doing eyeshadow, I'm going to use it as such. Especially since we're using a shimmery eyeshadow. Okay, so because I'm not wanting to use anything not outside the Ipsy bag or my regular bag, I'm only using that one cute green brush that it came with, but also because I can't find my other brushes. <laughs> I have no idea where they are. <laughs> okay, so I'm taking this, um, the Bon Voyage travel shadow. Here it is. It's so cute. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? Can you see it? Um, and this cute brush that came in my Ipsy bag. Uh, T35 Precise Blending. So this is actually supposed to be used for just the crease. Uh, but again, because I couldn't find my other brushes, um, I'm using this all over, so I'm just using this to apply all over from like here all the way up to my brow bone. So this is all over everywhere that we just applied um, the shape tape. 
Cancela as a primer. I can hear somebody skateboarding outside. You know what I should have done was use some of this translucent powder under my eyes. Let's go ahead and do that now, just because it's in here and I want to try it. So Naked Cosmetics Translucent Powder. Come here, open up you. Nice, cute little squares. Just stick that to the box that's right next to me. Perfect, and I've wiped off this brush so that it just has translucent powder on it. And even though shape tape doesn't crease, um, I just want to make sure that it doesn't. I'm a little sticky. I'm going to take some of this and just dust it on my cheeks because I want to use blush, but I don't want it to come onto my face super fiercely. And I'm going to take some of that and put it on my chin. It's like clouding everywhere. <laughs> Gross, Amy. And right up here. Wipe that brush off because it's the only one we're using. Okay, so we've got this shimmery on the eyeballs and I think this color is stunning. So I'm excited about that. Um, the pan is so little. Look at how cute and little it is. Uh, but when used sparingly, I don't know if I have any other shades like this. Mm, I think it's lovely. Okay, and then I'm gonna take eh, this Pacifica duo here, coconut blush duo, and I'm actually going to take the like bronze shade and go in the crease. So if you ever want to create a look using f very few products, um, use your bronzing shade for the crease. And I'm only using two eyeshadows for this look, and I think it's going to look great. We'll see. I mean, I have no idea. Nice. So only two sh eyeshadows for this little looky look. Um, and then let's take that bronze shade and apply it where we would apply like a contour. I like these. These are nicey nice. Very light. And I'm actually going to take that very lightly um, underneath my lash line. Just a teeny bit. This brush, I'm getting some good use out of this brush. Um, now let's uh, do blushers. I'm really excited to try out this shade. Now, I would not normally use this kind of brush to do blush, but it's what I got. Sometimes when you're like on the road or traveling or something, you have to be inventive. So really, I'm just helping you do that. You can barely see it. But maybe that's what we want. It's just a slight dash of color. I'm going to take that eyeshadow again, this Balm Voyage one, uh, and use that as my highlighter. I think there's just a slight bit of satin in the blush, but um, but let's get those cheekbones popping. Now I didn't put any uh, shape tape on my nose, so that's why it already looks shiny. Is <laughs> because uh, it's, it's a nose and it's like smooth. You know what I'm saying? On here. Which I believe is called the Cupid's Bow. Great. Okay, let's do some mascara and then I think we're done. Oh, let's comb through these brows first. Hello, because who knows what got in them during this escapade. Great. So there's that. I didn't do anything fancy with mascara, just my normal mascara. So let's see. We used um, this Balm Voyage. Oh my gosh, the name of the shadow is so hard to say. Let me scooch it up close. Do you see this? Kuwa, but Kuwa, 
Ka- oh, I like ran out of energy in the middle of that word. <laughs> That's why I just stopped all of a sudden. Kuwakaribisha. Shadow slash luminizer. Oh, so we did use it as a luminizer, whatever that means. So we used it as our shadow, our primary shadow and our highlight on our cheeks. Um, and then this Pacifica little palette, we used this bronzer um, for our crease shade and bronzer. And then the blush shade as blush. And then we did try out this translucent powder and the brush. So we used four out of the five products that were in the Ipsy bag. The last one is this eye cream, which uh, maybe I'll try tonight. When it comes to skincare, I have like my normal thing that I do. And then I like to save things like this for like, if I'm really tired or if I spent time in the sun or like if I have a baby. <laughs> um, so, and as the season change too. So as it goes from summer to fall, it's going to get more dry. So I don't necessarily incorporate these types of things right away into my routine. Uh, but I hang on to them because I'm excited to try them for when I like actually will see incredible results. So this is definitely enough makeup that I feel like I could put a lipstick on and it wouldn't look ridiculous. But I also feel like this could work as a like every day. It was super simple. We used one, two, three, four, five, six products and like three tools. Good job, us. Thanks for joining me. I hope this was helpful um, and also fun to figure out different ways to use different products. Maybe not how they were intended, but totally can be used in that way. I'm already excited for my next glam bag. But I think I'll get a lot of use out of these. I love the color of this blush. And I think they apply really lightly. But it's like wouldn't be hard to build them up. If that makes sense. I'm looking over here because that's where my face is. And the mirror's over here. And you guys are right there. So that's why it's confusing that I'm looking all over the place. I will list the list of Ipsy products down below that I used in this video. And if you haven't checked out my unboxing, unbagging revealing, ooh, <laughs> revealing, of uh, when I opened my Ipsy package. Uh, check out that video and let me know what you think. My nose is super shiny. I look like the Tin Man. Great, thanks for joining me. Hope to see you next time. Poof! Oh. <laughs>